What up, YouTube? It's your boy, PHAT, Fat Daddy, Fat Outdoors, and guess what? We out here in my front yard. We're getting ready to do a little catfish cleaning, and I want to bring you all along with me, show you how I clean a catfish. Now, this might not be the way you clean a catfish. You might have seen somebody do it different or do it better, but this is the way I do it. This is the easiest way I've found to do it, and so that's what we're getting ready to do. If you want to criticize me, go find somebody else, but this is the way Fat Daddy do it. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is um, how I dispatch my catfish. Um, yeah, what I usually do is I leave them on a stringer at the lake um, until I'm ready to go or, you know, if it's just a daytime trip. If it's a weekend trip like these were, what I usually do is I leave them on the stringer overnight. About midday, if they start dying off, I get an ice chest and I put them in ice. And the reason I do that is because I don't like whacking these things on the head or driving something through their skull like a lot of people do. Um, I just put them on ice and guess what? They go to sleep. That's what they do. They kind of go to sleep and then I get them home, put them in the refrigerator and just keep them until I'm ready to clean them. Um, I recommend trying to clean them, you know, the, 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 at least the second day. These, uh, I lost my um, catfish skinners when I went camping. Couldn't find them. They were in the food bin. I checked everywhere. Spent about an hour and a half looking for them. So these are two days old. So they've been in the refrigerator. They're well dispatched. They just go to sleep and then they die. So that's what I do. And now I'm going to show you how I cut them up and get them prepped, skin them, and then cut a fillet off of them. Okay, the first thing that I do is I always put a rag down. The reason I put a rag down is because usually they're real slippery and sliding around. I don't like them to slide around on this table. And then I hate them looking at me, so I usually cover up their face. That's what I do, and I hold it right there. Next thing I do is I get myself a razor knife. And this is the best way that I've found to do it. And so I look for that back point right here, and I make a cut like this. And I cut right on across to the same spike point. So right there, if you could see that, that's what I do. Pull that out. Cut on across. Try not to cut too deep because you don't want to cut the belly. Then I cut a line up the back. I go around this dorsal fin like so. Come around this side, try to connect the two dorsal fins like that. Then I go straight down the back, it doesn't matter how deep you go on this side. Usually I just grab that rag, do this, cut that little bit of dorsal fin off. and then go all the way down to the tail. So that's my cuts. Cut right there, all the way to the other side, cut around the dorsal fin, down the back like that. Then the tricky part, you don't wanna cut the belly and get all the boo-boo and everything. So I come right along this dorsal fin here. I don't know if this is a dorsal fin, what they call this one, but I come right along this bottom fin, just like that. Try to get as close to the end of the tail as I can. Basically, I just make the same cuts on both sides. So, do that. Right now, we're just skinning. This has nothing to do with the fillet. This is just getting the skin off. Then, see where that cut meets right there? Some people might say, oh, keep the belly, the belly's good, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to make a mess. So, I'm not so worried about keeping the belly. Plus, with Minden, I filled up my refrigerator last year, had more catfish. I just finished off the catfish from last year. So, I'm not too worried about having the belly meat. That's the best part, this and that. Y'all want to do that? Go ahead and do it. I don't do it. I just cut right there and there. There's the booty. You can see it. There's my cuts right there. I connected everything as best I can. Now, we 
we're gonna go ahead and skin it. Okay, folks use pliers and everything. Go out and get you some of these fish skinners. They're the best. That's why I waited an extra day. Then I just pinched the skin. Sometimes you gotta get it started with a knife. Basically, I'm just trying to get something that I can grab onto. There we go. Nope. There we go. Now, let's kind of do this kind of slow to get it started. Try my best. See, you can kind of rip open the belly. And I don't want to rip open the belly. I just want to get the skin. Once I got a good piece like that, it usually comes off <laughs> like that. One nice piece. So that's in a perfect world. Might not work out this way on the other side, but that's really what you want. Let's try and flip them over. See if we can do the same thing. Might be working really a little bit better just because it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a day. All right. That one's kind of coming open a little bit. Again, I don't like them to bust open because then you got a mess. Keep your little face covered up. There we go. That's it. All right. So we pull those off. Now we've got our skinned catfish. We can go ahead and cut the fillets out. I'll show you how to do that. Now, I don't have a fillet knife, um, but what I got is this little knife that has been in my kitchen for years. So, I just try to get it started. I'm just gonna kinda try and jig in there a little bit. I sharpen it real sharp. Use a real sharp knife. Now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting until I can hear that rib cage. Um, I like to say it's like a xylophone. I don't know, you know what a xylophone is? I know what a xylophone is. I never had one, but some people like this little neck meat, so I'll try and save this little bit of neck meat. There we go. I'm just gonna open it up, find the rib cage without cutting the belly. That's the main thing. I don't know if you can hear that along the rib cage, but that's what you want. So I'm just gonna poke through right here like that. Get as close to the rib cage as possible. There we go. See the rib cage right there? That's what we're looking for. Nice. Keep going. I like to cut through. And find the backbone. There we go, you can hear them. Right here is where you can kind of cut through sometimes. So I kind of take my time. And then once I get here, past the booty, find the backbone and cut it off there's my fillet let's see you can see so that's the fillet I got off of this fish that's what I do it's all good meat relatively no bones set that to the side you can see you can complain there's a little bit of meat left but again I'm more worried about cutting that belly open right here rather than worrying about this little bit of meat if you want that little bit of meat I can try to show you how much is left 
relatively paper thin to get to that rest of that backbone. That's what that's what we're talking about wasting. And guys are always complaining, oh, you're wasting meat, you're wasting meat. That's what you're talking about. I ain't worried about that. All right, now on my other side, now that I know where the backbone is, I can get a little bit closer in. So I usually kind of just get this started like that. Come back again. If you want that little neck meat, there it is. Then I want to find that rib cage. Main thing I'm trying to do not cut the belly open. Once I get past the booty, I'm good. I lay my knife down, try to flex it as much as possible. Come on through. That's my second fillet right there. So that's where, I don't know if in my video you'll see where he got jigged. That's where that little blood is. It's because he was on the stringer. Some of the other fish spiked him. That's why there's blood there. Otherwise, it would look just like that. But he got spiked on this side, so a little blood is in the meat. Yeah, and you can see I didn't cut the belly open, but look at that. It's translucent. I'm happy with that. That's a good fillet. And all the belly right here, if you want to cut that open again, you can do it, but I don't like to. It's a nice, clean little package. I can put that into a garbage bag, put that in the freezer till the garbage man comes. And look, it's pretty much paper thin. I don't know if you can see it, if you can see my fingers through there. So I haven't left too much meat on there. So there you have it folks, that's how I clean the catfish. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, it was just a little short tutorial. Uh, maybe I'll do more tutorials like this. As always, remember, like, pound it, subscribe, you know, hit that little jingle bell thing. Um, appreciate you guys checking out the videos. And as always, fat folk, get outside, enjoy life, and always have a lot of fun at it. P-H-A-T, Fat Outdoors.